But all we're going to do right now is bring up some people to tell some anecdotes and some stories, to tell, tell the stories about all the memorabilia you're sitting in midst and why we're all gathered here tonight. It's a real privilege to have somebody here who actually played the Golden Bear, Mr. Bill Kirchin, if you would come up. What a cool thing that you're here. And that's what happened as part of this Golden Bear reunion held at Don the Beachcomber. The original reunion was part of the city of Honey Beach's centennial celebration in 2009. There were many stories shared by those who were touched by the iconic landmark of the day. Golden Bear workers, waiters, musicians, entertainment writers, including Robert Carvonis, the author of A History of the Golden Bear Huntington Beach. It's great to celebrate the Golden Bear once again. Golden Bear worker Janelle Hardy remembers how she got her Golden Bear job. I cut through the alley to go to the beach because I lived at 3rd and PCH. And the door would be cracked, that big giant back door. And um, I could hear the sound checks and I could hear like getting ready for the shows. And so I'd knock on that door and ask for a job. I didn't care what kind of job it was. And about the uh, third or fourth time I asked for a job, they said, come on in, probably Rick or Chuck. And um, so then after I waitressed at the bear for a while, I um, was the ticket girl up front. Uh, and Carol would bring me hot chocolate and garlic bread. And boy, that tastes good on a cold night. So. Sound man Roy Zartman remembers the Bears' last day. There up until the very last day, which I was actually mixing monitors the last day for Robin Trower. And uh, Bill came down to me and he goes, hey man, we gotta get all this sound gear out of here. Look at the marshal's gonna put a lock on the door tomorrow morning and he won't be able to get any of your stuff. And it was, it was a rainy night. And everybody was like crying and freaking out. And it, was, it was a really sad day. And I know there were some protests and things afterwards, but I had to look for another job. But the 57-year history of the bear was always about the music and the city that later would give life to a surf city and a plaque where the bear used to reign. The Don the Beachcomber music promoter knew this and how to put it all together. For this tribute, this reunion, with favorites that had donned the bear and its legions of fans, well, forever, it seemed. I got a hang of the stereo Built back on the radio Well, I'm a hard working tear You know that I would do no For the rainbow if the bluebird flies Why can't I? The bluebird, he has no money The bluebird, he has no kin No idea what we were doing. Absolutely no idea. I remember the first time a band asked me where my monitor speakers were. I said, well, monitors? He said, yeah, you know, speakers at basses so we can hear ourselves. My reply was, what, you don't play loud enough? I mean, we really had no idea what we were doing. But it, it was an experience. But what really I would like to say is the heart and the soul of the Golden Bear is Carol. Carol is mom. For Surf City Highlights, this is Matt LeFranc.